This video is part of the Great Unboxing! Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Kingdom Death's July 2020 order. Hey, we got two generics and a Death High model. All three of which were brand new this time around. So, let's start with those two generics. Specifically, the Court Investigator. Ooh. So, like with most of the generic models, minus the one red box, although it's really a white box model, it is a resin model. Also, obviously, all three of these are brown box models, meaning no real mechanics. So, here is their art card, or their small one at least. Lots of little details. Oh god, I'm gonna both hate and love painting this. And then, here is their large art card. There are hands coming out of the cloak, either bringing books in or out. And wand, same details on the charm and the book. Oh, just a lot of little things. Oh, and apparently a sword or a saber handle down at the bottom. They are a single space model, which looks like they have a custom base. And now that I think about it, I've seen pictures of this one assembled. Yes, it's a dozen. It's awesome. But we'll get to that. Oh boy, they make up a lot of pieces, as do most of the resin. Again, the resin ones are fragile, and but also far more detailed. Like this is where you, these are the ones you get if you want lots and lots of detail in the actual sculpt. I'm always hesitant about even assembling these ones. I still have yet to get around to doing the Valkyrie, which is the one that I want to do first out of all the resin generics that I have. I digress. And here is their actual base. And I had trouble holding it up because it's, so it's a cobblestone-like base or tiled, and it's being uprisen. Then we have that gorgeous cloak, which is completely smooth on the back, but has all those books and hands, and that looks like a Lego piece. Yep, that looks like a Lego piece on the inside. Then here is their body and their sword. A leg, which I think fell off of one of these other things. The arm with the wand. This is what I think the leg fell off of. Oh boy, oh, I'm concerned about that breaking. And then a few other pieces, including the, their head, part of their arm book with, I believe, a hand attached to it. Yes. And uh, either some frills or vines or something. I don't know what that one is, although on the other end for my hand. Oh, yeah. In total, they make up, not counting the bottom of the base, ten pieces. Still not the most that I've seen, which is the, I don't even want to know what the risen version is like, if there even is one, of the pinup Warrior of the Sun female, which is 20 pieces for a small base model. Let's, let's get that put away before I break or lose any of it. Cleaning these is so painful. Again, they can break so easily. The photo resins aren't even that strong, honestly. I've mentioned them breaking multiple times in at least the painting videos. All right, and then next we have the Holy Mage. So the other one was sort of a mage of some sort, but yeah. All right. Here is her small art card. Got blush painted on and er or on and everything. That symbol on her forehead that I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I do kind of wish they would make a setting or a reason for the generic models existing rather than just, we decided to make these, or this is some concept from the original version of Kingdom Death before it was game. But yeah, she reminds me actually a lot of a cleric or white mage, and I mean more a cleric in not d d sense, so not in chainmail or full plate. So actually, yeah, kind of a mage, but yeah, reminds me a lot of a white mage, except the red red is pink here. Definitely a more curvy character, which is always approved of. She is a 
normal single space model. And again is a resin model, just like the other generic. Here is a lot of her. It's one of her legs and her entire torso. Again, I find it comical that on the resin models, the breasts are attached and not on the plastic. Again, I know why they do that. Here is her cloak. I'm noticing now that there is no head in there. <laughs> Tassels coming off of it. That's what I'm also holding onto on the other side. Um, I don't actually know where this goes. My guess is the bottom of the cloak that I'm holding over here, but it is more cloth. And then we have another four pieces on a sprue, which include her other leg, some beads. I don't know what these two pieces are supposed to be, most likely more of the actual outfit itself. And I just remembered the head, or at least the face, is attached to the torso piece. So that's her entirely. That put away again so they don't break it or lose it because oh god so many fragile tiny pieces and now on to something less fragile but still fragile and not even again we're not even talking in the realm of like plastic models which are still technically fragile the death high satan y um they are referred to as satan y and satan x but not for the reasons that you think um Satan is an interesting thing in the Kingdom Death setting. I can go on to probably a whole video of what we already know about it. If you'd like me to, please ask. Or any other lore in-depth things. But here is their small art card. Very high emphasis on the dark eye shadow underneath the eyes. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be like baggy eyes and or eyeshadow. I could probably ask some people that would know better. But here is their full art card. They have a fencing saber, I'm guessing that is, a bag, the... I don't know what insignia that's supposed to be, but it's definitely not the Death High, you know, logo and everything like that. In fact, they have a very different outfit. Um, that insignia is also on the little pin or buckle or whatever that's on the strap. I imagine there would be a similar one on the other side. They're probably flat like the octopuses were for the novice. They are also a single space model. Oop, as I almost lose pieces from it just falling out of the bag. Again, I have had these photo resin, the orange models, break on me. Not like, oh, they just break. Um, I've up to three that, because they've either fallen or hand thing was dropped on them, uh, break. The nun the nunchucks, and uh, funny enough, it's all weapons. The nunchucks from the ringtail fox, the bokin from the white speaker, and that big giant cleaver from the murderer. But again, I digress. They are three pieces in total. As you can see, majority of them is right here and that insignia is in full display on the hip but it is just a little bead thing on the strap and then this is just gorgeous their head is i'm holding it by hair that's falling down from a bun and oh nope there are four pieces i just had one lying right on top of another which is the arm Tiny little hand, and then the other arm holding the sword itself. That is not a fencing saber. That is... I actually don't know what that is off the top of my head. Uh, that's too thick to be a fencing saber. But, eh. but that's everything this time around. The three models. really do love how some of this stuff comes out. My wallet doesn't! Ha <laughs> ha! Regardless, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press that like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. Either way, I'll help this video get seen more. If you didn't like this video, go and press that dislike button. Who am I? But please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you'd like to see any of these or other models, be they Kingdom Death or not, painted sooner than I'm going to get around to them to normal. I try to do the Death High models in the order that they came out in, and I 
haven't really done too many of them yet as is, but eh, one thing at a time. But if people request them, those I will do out of order. Or if you'd like to talk about Kingdom Death in general, be it the game, the setting, uh, my overview videos, which again are on the way. Just a lot of delays have happened. And if you'd like to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overviews, my painting videos, all three I do for Kingdom Death stuff, or anything else that I might do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.